Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. So before you go with this lecture, I would request you to revise all the formulas which is mentioned in uh, this short note section uh, in the previous topic so that you will be understanding what is going here otherwise it will be a little difficult to understand so we are going to solve the differentiation problem by substitution so what kind of substitution we will do we will do some kind of uh, trigonometrical substitution to make the formula easy or the problem easy so there is no hard and fast rule that what should be substituted by what but this will basically come this this is I mean by intuition you will be able to get that what will be the easier things to uh, put here instead of uh, the large expression and which will basically simplify your problem so this will come by practice so we should practice more problems on problems on this uh, topic so the first one I I have some recommendations some suggestions like if it is given that uh, for example in you have a square minus x square kind of expression okay then you can substitute this as x equal to x equal to a cos theta either a cos theta or a sin theta okay so why I'm saying this you will be able to get because if you substitute this x by a cos theta it will become it will become what a square minus a square cos square theta right after substitution of x by this now if you take a square common it will become 1 minus cos square theta and then after again so taking this it will become a sine theta sine square theta right so likewise the problem will be simplified and somehow you will get a uh, simplified expression you will be able to solve it faster so if you have something like a square plus x square now what you will do so here we took cos theta why because we know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 so similarly because here it is plus what should be better to take so we will take either 10 I mean x equal to will take a tan theta or a cot theta fine so either tan theta or cot theta we will take or we will proceed now we have similarly if you have a minus x upon a plus x and under root right so this kind of expression is there then what you will do then you will start by x equal to uh, x equal to a cos theta fine so what will happen if you take x equal to a cos theta it will become the expression will become a minus a cot theta cos theta not cot cos theta upon a plus a cos theta right under root so a will be cancelled out it will become 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta under root now if you remember the formula of cos 2 theta what it is equal to 1 minus 1 minus uh, sorry cos square theta minus sine square theta right so it is also equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta or equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 simply we are changing this by the formula of using this formula cos square theta plus sine square theta equal to 1 so if we replace one of the cos square theta or sine square theta these two will come right so using this what we can put we can write that if it is cos cos 2 theta plus 1 we can write what 2 cos square theta fine we can write here we have 
cos 2 theta equal to this okay so this one will go and this we can write so this cos 2 theta plus 1 is replaced by this so here we can replace down down we can uh, denominator we can replace by 2 cos square theta by 2 2 cos square theta by 2 and numerator we can this numerator we can replace by similarly we can get 2 sin square theta by 2 under root so 2 2 is cancelled out it, it will come out to be tan theta by 2 fine so similarly the expression is reduced let's solve the example if you have a uh, sine inverse of uh, let's say 2x upon 1 plus x square okay we have to find out the differentiation of this function fine so how to differentiate this we can use the substitution rather than going for differentiation with respect to fx function and then differentiating this function so we can use substitution what we can do we can write x equal to uh, x equal to tan theta so it will become sine inverse of 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta okay so what will be 1 plus tan square theta 1 plus tan square theta so this expression if you remember it is that sine 2 theta right it is sine 2 theta in form of tan theta so this entire expression so it will become sine inverse of sine 2 theta fine now it will come out to be 2 theta fine so now we can replace this theta by this using this so if how can replace how can we replace so it will become 2 and theta will be replaced by tan inverse of x fine so entire expression is here now we have to differentiate this by uh, with respect to x so what it will become it will become 2 upon 1 plus x square right what is the differentiation of tan inverse x 1 upon 1 plus x square so it will become 2 upon 1 plus x square that's it so by substitution the problem will become easier and you will be able to solve it faster so I hope you understand it uh, if you understand it well go and try to solve questions on this if you have any doubt ask your question you can also go to example section for more examples on this I hope you you will enjoy solving uh, the, the substitution method so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching